ILA? Uh, yes, the ILA. <laughs> um, there are a number of uh, people from here who are going to attend the next conference, and you've all read about that in your materials. Uh, so I won't stay too, much, too long on that. Um, the only color commentary I have to add this time, and uh, that is a little bit of interest, I think, is that the Evanston Library has something very, very unusual, not something that would ever happen at this library. They have two falcons nesting, peregrine falcons, <laughs> falcons, and they actually started having this in the year 2007, and they keep coming back. They really like the roof of the Evanston Library. There is a falcon cam if you want to take a look at it. Um, they actually need to incubate for 32 days, the babies do, and the, but just a couple of interesting facts about peregrine falcon, falcons. The flight speed, if they are pursuing prey, is about 67 miles an hour. This is a bird going 67 miles an hour. The average cruising rate is 24 to 33, and diving with their wings closed, the Herring Green Falcon can reach 238 miles an hour mm -hmm. and stop on a dime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, if you have a chance, take a look at the, the so cam the camera that's hooked up to that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm now going to just do brief uh, information <laughs> items. Okay. Uh, I will announce a uh, board. board. You know, board. I'm sorry. I should have asked um, Trustee Johnson if there's anything from downstate that he might want to add. Thanks. Yeah. Um, it may be a little over the horizon, but um, there's a big debate about the fair tax and putting a constitutional amendment on the 2020 ballot. Mm -hmm. And a few of the House Democrats that were hope, uh, folks were hoping might vote yes have expressed uh, uh, they're reluctant to do so unless there's some property tax solution of some kind. And so I think there's an undercurrent that we should be aware of that uh, for some suburban reps, to kind of beat the drum a little bit that we need to do something. It's not clear what, they haven't proposed anything specific, but do something about property taxes. And that uh, may or may not impact whether that fair tax gets on the ballot. But it's, I think it's clear that will be an increasing leverage point that will clearly be something we should be aware of uh, if it gets a little bit more traction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you, Chairwoman. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we'll add that on the next agenda in terms of advocacy update. Mm -hmm. uh, next month I will uh, announce trustee committee assignments at the June 2019 committee meeting. Mm -hmm. Those um, committees are listed on the website, and I'm just gonna go briefly over them, but you'll be getting a quick brief summary by email next week, or the end of this, well, next week, it's not gonna happen at the end of this week. So those assignments are, there's the communications committee, there's the facilities and equipment committee, and what they do are basically the buildings and grounds and, uh, the, they were, uh, and what happens in terms of the committees, the committees will do the work. All uh, trustees are invited to all, as well as the public, are invited to all the committees. But generally there's a core of three to, three to four people that serve on each of the committees so that they can do some of the groundwork in terms of getting things done. So you've got the communications, you've got facilities and equipment. You've got finance that uh, Trustee Rogers will uh, chair since he is the treasurer. You have the, I have this one, the intergovernmental, intergovernmental uh, coordinating committee, which is the IGCC that generally the president would be on and other interested trustees. And that once a year, they're generally, uh, We've sponsored it in some of the other government bodies, the village, uh, the school boards, the park district, and some of the state officials have come 
and they just tell what's going on briefly as to what's happening. You also have the ILA and the Advocacy Committee that we just heard from, and then there is the Minutes Audit Committee, and that's about a one-hour one job for the year. And what's required is that uh, IPLAR, the Illinois Public Library Annual Report, requires that the trustees review the minutes to make sure they are all signed and the attachments are present. And uh, there's a nominating committee, but that won't be assigned because that's every other year. And then another committee has been proposed, and so we're sort of working on how it all fits, and that's the Partners Committee. And so, uh, because some of the things with the Partners Committee, and uh, Dan, would you like to talk about your vision for that? Sure. I wasn't aware of that intergovernmental coordinating committee, but it's uh, the idea is that, uh, you know, we're, we're blessed with excellent staff with all of our units of local government, but we don't get an opportunity as trustees to sort of coordinate and discuss with other elected officials throughout the village about potential partnerships or how we could work together or share services or forge new partnerships, uh, essentially. And so uh, to facilitate more trustee to trustee conversations and discussions that might lead to some proposals for partnerships, that was my uh, proposal to President McDonald that we form a committee to focus on that for the next couple of years as well. Okay. okay. So there you have it. Thank you. Uh, you've got the information on, uh, you've already reported on Lake on Fire Library will be closed Sunday, May 26th and Monday, May 27th for Memorial Day. Summer hours begin June 16th and uh, they will be open from 1 to 5 p.m. on Sundays until Sunday, August 25th. And the communications and the comments have been distributed, the comment section. And then uh, just two other things. One of the things is uh, new trustees will be getting their business cards, oh. saving that. Also, one of the things that I'd like to institute is that we all the trustees have a name tag, so when they are in the library or doing functions, that they are identified in case the patrons want to see or have something to say. So that's the other thing. And then uh, finally, uh, in, at the June board meeting, we'll generally meet afterwards and we'll do an evaluation of Anthony Austin. And so here's what the procedure is. He's going to do a, uh, send out a self-evaluation and there will be a review form that I've worked with Mike in doing. And what that'll be is you'll submit it back to me, I'll summarize it, and then we all get together and review the results. Also, as part of that, I will ask the two former trustees, since they have worked with Anthony for his duration, to complete a form. And then finally, I will be talking to the two uh, co-directors during the absence that have sort of been the liaison, Gail and uh, Betty, and get there and just do a verbal uh, debrief with them in terms of some of their thoughts. So that will happen at the next meeting. Also, the policy committee will be uh, meeting June 3rd from 1 to 3 p.m. A notice will uh, go out, and that committee comprises of um, Ron, Stewart, and myself. But everybody is invited, and you and there's a lot that we'll be looking over. A lot of it is to make sure things are in compliance, but then there's some policies that need to be tightened up specifically around the trustees and the trustees' role. Okay. Are there, is there any other new business that anyone has? Um, just real quickly, I just want to say that um, as of today, the board is entering on a new chapter and with Lisa McDonald as our president. Mm -hmm. And so I want to say that thank you for getting us off to a good start. And also want to uh, once again acknowledge um, the two board members who left, um, Kathleen O'Loughlin and, and Ginny George, and welcome Fina and Joan again. And, and it's great to have you both here and, and excited about, about all the things that are going to be happening for the library over the next year or so. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'd thank like you. to just add... Yeah. The, the staff has been doing remarkable things, and with you as a leader, 
even more remarkable things that I think the library is moving in a wonderful direction with things that almost everybody can find interesting at any time. And the librarians work very hard putting together the programs, and there are just excellent. Is there a motion to adjourn? I will motion to adjourn. Second. So moved. All those, anyone opposed, say aye. Or <laughs> oh, no, no, opposed is nay. <laughs> yeah, nay. Anyone <laughs> opposed, say be positive. Oh, anybody opposed, say, please say nay. <laughs> okay, the uh, meeting adjourned at 9 18. <laughs>